Hey guys, welcome back to my Chanel. I'm not too sure when this video is going to get posted, but I am praying and hope that it gets posted on Halloween. This video is along with a sponsorship, so not really sure when it's gonna get posted, but I wanna get straight into the video. Um, Before we get into the video, this is the last look that I am doing for Halloween. I, I'm, giving, I'm giving the girls a neon skull look. This is a recreation from, I'm gonna leave her Instagram handle down below i'm pretty sure if you guys like makeup and creations and all that y'all probably know her her name is jerry so i just did a recreation and i love it i am living uh, y'all i am literally living for it like look at that Ugh, I'm living for it, y'all. So before we get started, we do have a sponsorship today. Thank you so much, Purry Vortex, from sponsoring today's video. Now, if you guys do not know, Purry Vortex is an air purifier. Purry Vortex has this filter that is used for air to come inside of it, unwanted air. And it's not just air, it's also um, pet hair, unwanted smells. Have you ever walked into a room and just felt like the room was stuffy or just personally felt like the room smelled a certain in way that your room usually does not smell like well purry vortex specializes in nice air purifiers they do sell them on amazon today is the first day that i used it and because i used it i've just been able to just smell my room and it just it just smells fresh like it just gives off a fresh smell you know sometimes when you eat or you like drink or you just bring unwanted things into your room sometimes it causes the room to you know be filled with the smells of the things that you might bring from the outside world into the room also for my people who have allergies i know i get comments on my on my story times all the time people saying that my voice always sounds like it's stuffed up please believe that i like to sleep with a fan y'all and then on top of that like i'm not even gonna hold you guys i i basically stayed in a in a student housing apartments that have mold in it for years i mean that is a whole different story for a different day. When you're breathing that in over and over again, it changes your voice box. So, you know, whenever I get those comments of people saying, oh, why is your voice sound so stuffy? It's because of the background, like where I was living, what I was breathing in. Now this air purifier is basically set up all that bad air out and put it into the filter. So you are not the one that breathes it in because we think that we don't breathe in bad air, but you can definitely bring breathe in bad air. Also, for my people that have pets, y'all already know. Especially when I used to have cats, I used to always go to I used to always go to school with hair all over my body and everything, hair on my clothes because you know cats shed and everything like that. So you're not breathing in the pet air. Basically, just unwanted air, unwanted smells, smoke smoke smells like let's say you smoke in your room or you smoke in the house let's say you burn something accidentally and you know y'all know that smell that you get when you burn something up now we about to get into the advantages of having the air purifier the reason why i feel like because you really could get an air purifier from anywhere you really don't even just have to get it from the peri vortex but if you go look at the Amazon reviews and everything, the Prairie Vortex air purifier is unmatched. They have a 50% higher efficiency than any other air purifier. When you touch the air purifier and you turn it on, it comes with different lighting that has different lighting throughout the whole filter. Now, I know not everyone likes lights, all those different color lights flashing and everything. So you can turn it off. You have the option to turn it on and off. But me personally, I love me some lights, okay? So I love that lights, those lights flashing. I love watching the lights flash because I personally love different colors. I like lights, I mean, look at my face. <laughs> you know what I mean? Don't look at it and be like, oh, this little thing, what is this supposed to do? It doesn't even sound like it's doing anything. And that's another thing, y'all. It's not loud. It, I, I forgot about it, y'all. I turned on the air purifier and I went about my business and I forgot about it. What made me remember it again was that it was plugged in an outlet that I needed to use that outlet for. So I was able to take it out. So it's not one of them air purifiers that are going to be very just, you know, loud and just become a nuisance when you're trying your best to, you know what I mean? Like just get the smell out the way quietly. You know what I'm saying? Also, they do have a speed level and they also have a timer. So you do not have to worry about, you know, it being on for for only 10 minutes and then clicking off they have timers where you can set it for for however long you would like your purifier to be on for Pure vertex air purifier is mostly suitable for rooms i think that's like the best place 
applicable for you to put that filter in. I'm going to leave all the information down below. If you guys want to check it out and see what's going on with it, click the link and see what's going on with it. I'm going to leave that information down below. I, as for me, honey, I like my air purifier. I like it. I've, I, I, I've, I've been using it all day today and I like I like it because I always get unwanted smells in my room because I, I'm, I'm always bringing things in my room. You know, you bring different foods in your room. Room starts smelling like the food that you brought in. I go to the gym a lot, so I might come in and I might be musty. Room might pick up on a musty smell. That air purifier going to knock everything out, baby. <laughs> It's gonna knock it out. So <laughs> thank you so much, Prayer Vertex, for sponsoring today's video. I appreciate it a lot. And I'm going to leave all their information down below. If you guys have any questions for me, please let me know. And all right, y'all. So let's get into the story time. So boom. So we are this is a, this is the second part of the story time with me and Zebra. And we're gonna get straight into it. All right. So where I last left off was that I pulled up at Zebra's house. I had to do the skirt, skirt. I had to do the skirt. I had to pull up at Zebra's house because Zebra had me oh so messed up. Zebra was not, Zebra, no, Zebra had me messed up. So at this point in time, I left Zebra's house. I told her, I was like, look, if you do what you do again, at this, at this point in time, if you do what you do again, I am definitely going to do what I have to do. Now, let me tell you guys what she was doing. And guys, um, for the people who are new to the channel, the first video to this story time is going to be in the description box. So check it out because you're not going to get anything I'm saying in this one. But basically what Zebra was doing, like I told in the last story time, was that Zebra was basically adding guys that I messed with on Twitter and was basically telling the world that I was messing with them like she was like trying to expose me on Twitter and I didn't appreciate that and then like so I basically was like okay well we could all do the exposing so y'all like I said I've changed I'm not like that no more but back then if you if you took it there with me I, I took it I took it all the way all the way there I was that type of person where like you you might have thought that you were um starting a battle with me but you was really starting a war with me because if you take it to level if you take it to a bitch i'm gonna take it to z that's just the type of person i was so when zebra started catching herself trying to expose me on twitter oh i had a couple of zebra's nudes and i exposed them and i'm not proud of it i'm not here to tell you guys oh like you know that's a good thing da, da, da. like i'm not proud of what i did because at the end of the day it made me look bad you know what i'm saying it made people dislike me even more it, it really did but at the same time i just personally felt like she was just playing too much with me and remember i told you guys with my other friend too like she was playing too much with both of us i personally felt like if you want to play we can all play like we could really play so i just started posting the nudes i just started posting the nudes now me i never trusted zebra now zebra she wouldn't send me, zebra used to you know how girls are well i don't really know how you guys are with your friends but how i was with some of my friends you know we would sometimes um she just used to send nudes i'm not gonna lie zebra just used to send nudes like just out of nowhere like i'll be like girl why you keep sending me these nudes and she just would send me nudes like she thought it was funny because i would always be like girl stop sending me these nudes and she'll laugh right so I never trusted Zebra. So bitch, I never sent the nudes because bitch, I never trusted her. So when I started posting them nudes, she didn't know what to do. I mean, baby was clutching in her. She was she was shaking. She didn't know what to do next because she just personally was like, damn, like this girl is exposing my nudes because it's like, no. I know for a given fact that if Zebra had my news, she would have exposed my news. She would have not went on socials and been like, oh, Irene, fuck this nigga. Oh, Irene, talk to this nigga. No, she would have exposed my news, like just period, right? I just personally was like, okay, well, I'm going to just one up you because I, I told you to leave me alone. You're not getting the fact that I told you to leave me alone. So let me show you in a different manner that you need to really leave me alone. So I just start posting the news on socials and now everybody is attacking me, right? People are like, you're a bad friend. This isn't that. Look at you. Da, da, da. like people are attacking me some people are not attacking me some people are like do y'all see what she's uh what a uh, zebra's doing to her though but do y'all see it's like a 50 50 like some people are like attacking the hell out of me other people are like saying but do y'all see zebra started it then zebra because she did not have no nudes in me she decided to post the other girl the other girl remember i told you guys about the other girl that um that she fell out with i don't remember what i named her and i'm not going back to look at it she decided to post her naked pictures because she couldn't find no pictures of me and literally her caption said since i do not have no pictures of irene i'm going to go ahead and post 
blank. Yeah. Mind you, our other friend didn't even have a Twitter. So I had to call her and tell her that Zebra was posting her naked pictures because I never, I didn't have no naked pictures of our friend, but you know, I met that girl through Zebra. So I'm pretty sure she's probably sent G Zebra like, you know, some naked pictures before like whatnot. And I know some people are like, why are y'all sending each other naked pictures? I don't know about y'all, but like I said, us girls, you know, we might, you know, not even like, it's not like we sending it in a sexual manner. You know, some girls just might be like, oh shit, look at my titties or look at my ass. You know, like just funny, playful shit. But I never, like I said before, I never trusted Zebra. So Zebra never got none of that. Like I never sent Zebra no, nothing like that. You know what I mean? And if I did, if I did, it would be like on Snapchat to where like she couldn't, if she screenshot it will show. We had people who was angry at me. We had people who was on my side because they seen how she was trying to expose me with the guys before. And then we had people that was in the middle that was just like, ugh, her naked pictures are nasty. Like some people were just judging the way she was posing in the camera and shit like that, right? You left me alone. <laughs> like I'm not even trying to be here to be funny about it. Cause like I said, I am willing to take the constructive criticism. I am willing, ugh. I don't know. I don't like the way my hair sticking up, y'all. Like here. It's like I wanted to sit down. Sorry, y'all. The perfectionist in me does not like the way my hair is doing that. Sorry, I had to have it sit down. Sit it down, buddy. Yeah, it was bad. It was a bad time. It backfired on me. I, like I told you guys before, they already did not like me in the African community. So after I did that, they hated me. I mean, and everybody started to hate me. I mean, everyone was like, Irene is a bad friend. This is and that. And mind you, they don't even know like everything that happened. They just see what me and her are doing on social. So they don't know that she's been all the shit that she's been doing behind scenes that has caused me to get to this level. So they looking at me crazy. They looking at her crazy too, because she started, like I said, exposing her other friend. So they talking shit about her as well. Like it's just bad. She stops talking to me. She leaves me alone. She leaves me completely alone after I did what I did. I blocked her everywhere. She blocked me back. Boom. We move on with life boom never thought i would be friends with her again never wanted to be friends with her again i was so over her anybody who could wish death on you you should just let that should let you know how they feel about you really you know what i mean i have this friend and she's talking and we're basically she's basically mind you months go on now i'm living my own life i'm still friends with the other girl we're chilling we're doing our own thing like everything is cool right I end up talking to one of my friends that was cool with me and zebra and she ended up telling me that she personally feels like me and zebra even at the very least if we are not going to be friends again at the very least we need to talk about the situation and talk about why everything happened the way it happened I don't want to talk to Zebra because me personally, I just felt like Zebra took it too far. Like Zebra took it too far. And I now that I look back at it, at the end of the day, you are only in control of your emotions. You are not in control of other people's emotions. But the way my mindset was back then, my mindset was like Zebra caused people to hate me more because she really like made like got me out of character that and you know made me like you know expose her now everybody looking at me like i'm the crazy one when bitch i'm not the crazy one i'm just the irritated one like zebra was just irritating the hell out of me you know so i just told my friend i'm like i don't really know if i pretty much even want to talk to her because like everything she did was just forced like i don't like what she did like i don't like the way she went about everything my friend is basically just talking back to me about the situation and she's basically like you know time is fly by she said i guess she said that zebra said she was willing to talk about it she was like, Zebra willing to talk about it. You should be willing to talk about it as well. I told her, I said, I'm going to talk about it on my own time. Like, nobody finna move me. You know what I mean? Like, I don't care that she ready to talk about it. No. And Zebra is one of the main reasons why I do not, um, I do not re-enter friendships again until we talk about the situation. Because when I was friends with Zebra, we never talked about the situation we would just become cool again and act like nothing ever happened. And that's the reason why when we had our final blow up, it was really, really bad because we did not ever talk about our problems. One day I was going to get a piercing 
And the funny thing is, me and Zebra, we got like matching piercings together and stuff like that. And I was going to get a piercing with that girl that told me that I need to talk to Zebra. And she told Zebra like, oh, I'm going with Irene to go get a piercing. And I guess Zebra wanted to come, right? So when I first think about it, I'm looking like, do I really want to see this hoe? You know, cause she brought, she, you know, she brought the offer up to the table. And I'm thinking, I'm like, I don't know if I want to see this hoe. And I'm, I'm on the fence. A part of me is like, okay, like, you know, this might be the perfect time to talk about the situation. Other part of me is like, I don't know if I really want to see her after everything she's done. You know what I mean? But against my better judgment, I was like, you know what? Let's just, you know, let, let me see her. And the reason why I say against my better judgment is instead for that day for us to actually talk about the situation, <laughs> bitch, we have fun. Now, when I first seen her, of course, I was timid about her and I didn't want to really be near her. But as we went to go get the piercings and everything, we had fun. I'm talking about we was dancing in the car. We was, yeah, yeah, like hyping each other up. Like we had fun. It was so weird, too. And that's why I say that was one of the weirdest friendships that I've ever been in in my life. Because how can you expose somebody on social media, like on both ends, not just something with me, with her, too? How can you expose somebody on social media and be laughing and chucking it up with them a couple of months later? That is real weird energy. And I will call myself out for that and say that I was being weird. But the thing is, y'all, it's not like I went in with the expectations of, oh, my God, we're going to be so cool again. Da, da, da. But the way me and Zebra's friendship was set up was that we had so much fun together that we ignored all the red flags. We had so much fun together that we just acted as if like nothing was wrong in our friendship. Our friendship was perfect. I just personally felt like Zebra took it too far. So I told her straight up, like what I'm telling y'all. I said, look, I feel like you took it too far. So I had to take it, bitch, I had to take it to hell and back. Cause bitch, I ain't staying in hell. <laughs> We're going to heaven over here. So I had to take it to hell and back. <laughs> so she was like, okay, I get that. Like. She chucked it up tight and we moved on or so I thought. But now at this point in time, me and Zebra, we're having fun in our friendship. We're back again. We're cool. Of course, we don't trust each other. We're still a little timid. It's never the same. I'm not going to sit here and make it look like, oh, me and Zebra got back together and everything was the same and it was all peaches and cream because baby, it was not. Okay. It was still rocky. It was still weird being friends with each other. And it was low key embarrassing because we were posting each other on social media and people are side eyeing us like, wow, we're hearing people say, how can people People, how can two people that expose each other on social media, how can they be friends again? It's, it's, it's a lot of weird shit going on, right? But me and Zebra just kind of seen it like this. We said, look, at the end of the day, yes, we did bring our issues to social media, but they're not in our friendship like how we are in our friendship. So we're going to deal with our friendship how we need to deal with our friendship. Whoever has any outside opinions, that's just their opinion. You know what I mean? Zebra's mom did some weird shit. And this was right before me and her stopped being friends. Zebra's mom did not like the fact that Zebra used to go out and party and do drugs and, you know, just the whole nine. She didn't like it. So what she and Zebra used to come, um, sleep over at her boyfriend's house and the mom knew she was doing that. But Zebra would lie to the mom and tell the mom that she was at work. And she used to go to work, but after work, she went to the nigga house. So the mom basically one day got rid of the car. <laughs> The mom got rid of the car. I remember this so vividly. Zebra was Zebra called me and I answered. I'm in my bed chilling and she is going off. Y'all, when I tell you the baby is going off, she's like, I cannot find my car. I cannot find my car. Mind you, there she's at her house saying she cannot find her car. How do you lose a car? And I ain't trying to be mean, but Zebra didn't have a car that was worth stealing. I'm not even trying to be mean. So it was just like, why like where's your car type like it was so confusing so i'm literally like no 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 no. that's not even that the mom stole the car keys okay the mom stole the car keys and she couldn't find her car keys so she's going off on the phone and she's like i can't find my car keys da, da, da. so i'm telling her i'm like okay check here okay retrace your steps like i'm trying to help her the keys got to be in the house because you drove home last night. So the keys got to be in the house. She was like, I swear to you, I swear to you, I think my mom took it. So she asked her mom, she was like, did you take my car keys? Of course, the mom denied, 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 acting dumb and stuff. The mom was like, no, I don't know what you're talking about. And so Zebra was getting so angry because Zebra deep down inside knew for a given fact that the mom took them car keys. Like she knew. Like she was telling me on the phone. She was like, bro, Irene, she took them car keys. She's not slick. Like she took them car keys. So I'm just like, well, calm down. Da -da -da. Long story short. Yes, the mom took the car keys and she she even got rid of the car. 
okay zebra came home zebra started ubering to work or started using like her siblings car to drive when they weren't doing anything but zebra came home one day and her car was gone it went from the car just sitting there in the in the in the parking lot to the car being gone and she was confronting the mom and her and the mom had a terrible relationship and she was asking the mom like oh what did you do with my car keys what did you do with my car keys what did you do with my car and the mom was playing dumb like she didn't know what was going on me and zebra are friends again and zebra ends up telling me like yeah my mom did take my car and i haven't had a car since and so i asked her i'm like okay well what have you been doing she tells me that she's just been using her brother's car when he's not busy or she ubers but she did tell me that her brother is nine times out of ten always busy or sometimes he just don't even want her to use the car oh so she said it's been a struggle for her like going to work and stuff she says sometimes she has her um her boyfriend take her to work but sometimes he can't take her to work because i don't know i don't think he had a car either i don't know it was a lot going on so me being the nice friend that i am me being the nice friend that i am i decided to start volunteering my car to her not for her to drive but you know to pick her up give her rides when she needed and yeah I told Zebra, I said, look, I could take you where I need to take you as long as you don't interfere in my schedule. I couldn't take Zebra to work because me and Zebra low-key had the same work schedule. Like, she would go in sometimes at 2, I would go in at 12 or at 3. So, I couldn't really take Zebra to work because if I take Zebra to work, either I was going to be late or she was going to be late. But at the same time, I used to pick Zebra up and take her to the gym. I took Zebra everywhere. We used to go out to eat. I'm the one who always drove. Zebra didn't have a car to say the least. So Zebra was literally the passenger princess of my car. And you know, I never asked for gas money from Zebra because I just personally just felt like I'm just doing my friend a favor until she gets on her feet. And yeah, like, you know, I just felt like I was you know, I wanted to help her. Like, I didn't do it. I didn't do this stuff for Zebra out of the moment of like, oh, I, I'm doing this for Zebra and she better pay me back in return. That wasn't my type of vibe. But I also wanted to help her until she got back on her feet and she was able to get a car again or like, you know, do whatever she needed to do to get a car again. So Zebra's boyfriend was very controlling and he used to try to control every little bit and piece of what she had going on. It will be times that I will be hanging out with Zebra and she will literally, we'll be having so much fun. She'll look at her phone and then she'll turn around and be like, Ugh, I'm so tired. I want to go home. And I'm just looking at her like, Mind you, we would just have got into that place, y'all. I'm looking at her like, what do you mean you want to go home? She's, I'm just tired. Like, I don't I don't want to be here no more. Can we go home? And I'll t find out that she at that boy house. So Zebra started ditching, ditching me to go home. And the thing is, I know, I know Zebra not the only girl who does that. But Zebra would do that with my car. Imagine going out of your way to pick up your friend that you never asked gas money from you go out of your way to pick her all the way up you get to a destination y'all are at the destination for a little bit and because she decides that she wants to see her nigga she wants you to take her home that's what zebra was doing and in the beginning she was doing it boldly like she would tell me straight up oh i want to go to old boy's house can you just drop me off there and i would drop her off there but after a while i confronted her and i told her i said look i said i don't like that i told her straight up i said i don't like that if you know that you want to spend the day with him don't make plans with me because it's like you wasting my gas you wasted me getting ready and all this and even if there will be times that we will even get to the destination and we'll be there for a while but then you could just tell she starts rushing like i couldn't even fully have fun with her because she's rushing she's can we get the bill can we go like you you know like everything is in an uproar you just feel like you on eggshells because it's like you just rushing 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 to get to this to get to this boy that's basically what you're trying to do. And I think Zebra started people that I didn't like that. So basically what Zebra started doing was she started lying about going to see him. She started drop, drop having me drop her off at her house. Then she will walk to his house because the boy didn't live far from her. And so I just was looking at her like, okay. I just literally was like, okay. The gym started becoming an issue because me and her will go to the gym early in the morning. And like I said, me and Zebra Loki had the same schedules. And so what I like to do back then was I like to go to the gym at 9 a.m. in the morning and get my workout in do what I needed to do you know what I mean and then head on over to Ota mind you guys this is summertime I don't got no classes I don't I don't think I had any summer classes I this is summertime like I'm free type shit but I'm just doing my own thing you know I like to um whatchamacallit 
Um, we'll go to the gym in the morning, go home, take a shower and get ready for work or go to the gym in the morning, go home, rest for an hour or two, then get ready for work. Right. Zebra. I will go to the gym. I will go pick up Zebra and from the boy's house because she would sleep over at the boy's house sometimes. So I will go pick her up from the boy's house and we would go to the gym. Like I said, Zebra's boyfriend was controlling. So there were days that I was literally busy and I would tell Zebra, hey, I'm busy. So make sure you're ready on time. By the time I come to get you, she like, okay, bet. I'm outside the boy's house waiting for Zebra. Five minutes go by. Zebra hasn't came out. So I call the phone. I'm like, where you at? I'm on FaceTime with her. I literally hear this boy in the background saying, you ain't going nowhere. You ain't going nowhere. I don't care. I don't care. Tell her leave. Tell her leave. Tell her leave. I'm literally looking like, what's going on? And she was like, why are you doing this? They start arguing and shit. I'm literally looking confused because I'm just thinking in my head, what's going on? Like, what is really going on? Like, I don't have time for this time foolery from you nor him. Like, I need to go to the gym and be able to get ready for work so i told zebra i told zebra because they were literally going back and forth he started saying she ain't going nowhere he got her phone he snatched her phone out of her hand and told me that she ain't going nowhere that i might as well leave <laughs> chucking up the deuces whoa 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 i told you that i'm leaving deuces like I'm like I'm leaving if this man telling me to go I'm leaving so I'm like okay well Zebra I'm going to the gym I don't know if you're gonna meet me there but I gotta go to work so I need to go to the gym like this day I remember very vividly I was on crunch time if I waited any longer for Zebra I would have went to work late and I, I'm not gonna lie I used to go to work late all the time but like it was a point in time where like I told you guys in my other story times Ulta gives you points and when you get to a certain number of points you get fired I was like at the very ending of the point so I was not even trying to be late at all at this point in time i wasn't so i told zebra i said look i'm leaving i don't know what y'all got going on but i'm about to dip she i am coming i am coming like she starts screaming with him and she tells me that i don't need to leave she's like irene please don't leave i am coming i don't know who he think he's controlling i am coming so now i'm stuck between a rock and a hard place because i'm like should i leave or should i you know like i'm 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 kind of thinking like damn if I, if i leave i will low-key look like a bad friend because it's like they're heated they're arguing and i don't want this boy to raise his hand up and hit her because this boy has had a history of hitting her in the past you know what i mean so i'm like i don't know what to do like but at the same time i'm like i don't want to interfere in their relationship but at the same time i'm like i don't want this to get physical then i'm thinking what can i do about it like it's so much shit going on in my head i just turned the car off and i'm just like look i'm out here when you're ready to come out come on the boy hangs up the call on me like i literally i literally see the boy hang up the call so at this point in time i'm irritated because i'm just like I told, I told this girl, you gonna be doing all this with this boy? Don't include me in it. And mind you, this wasn't the first time she did it, but this was just the time that it went overboard. So mind you, she been doing this. There were times that I would tell her, hey, I'm on the way to come and get you. And he would be in the background like, don't come. She not going. She not going. She not going. And I'll just be like, and she'll be like, I'm coming. Irene, please come and get me. I'm coming. Do y'all not understand how disruptive and annoying that is? I don't understand how annoying that is. That is very annoying when you include your friends in your relationship drama with your nigga. And then on top of that, your nigga starts hating your friends because you're going to take your friend's side, of course. Why wouldn't I? And then your guy starts hating because they're probably thinking like, look at what Irene got you doing. And that's what he started saying. He basically was like telling her that I was... I was like a hoe in high school because like I told you, I've been knowing this boy since third grade. But he was basically saying that she doesn't need to hang around me because I'm very promiscuous. Let me tell you something, boy, you know your girl is promiscuous. You know your you know your girl was just as promiscuous as I was, if not even worse. So don't even try to take it there with me. Tell myself, oh, you don't need to be hanging out with people like Irene. I look here boy the girl's gonna do promiscuous shit with or without me okay so don't even do that so he starts talking about she not coming she not coming so at this point in time this day i waited legit i waited for 20 minutes and i did i left i had to go i got to the gym i rushed the hell out of my workout this girl has the audacity i texted her i said look i'm leaving i gotta go work out i don't know what y'all got going on and i know some people in the comments are about to say well that's not nice because you know you know you never know he could have hit her look he hit her before and she 
she stays. So I'm not gonna put myself in it and let this boy fuck around and hit me because I'm not fucking him. She is. You know what I mean? Like I can only give you advice. I can only pray for you. I can only hope that you wake up one day to understand that if a nigga put his hands on you, he don't love you like that. But if you don't know that, then there is nothing that I can really do about it. And I try my best to explain to her like y'all need to leave each other alone. I, like y'all's relationship is toxic for you and him not just him you might not be putting your hands on him but the screaming and the yelling and all that shit that could that could that could take an emotional toll on somebody that is always getting screamed and yelled at because she used to always scream and yell at him you know what i mean when he would do dumb shit then listen she'll tell me she done with him the next day she back she fucking with him again she tell me she done with him the next day she back she messing with him again so i just did not want no parts of it so i went to the gym Oh, y'all, baby caught an attitude with me when I went to that gym. She started talking about son. I can't believe you would leave me after I said to stay. I told her, I said, look, Zebra, I'm going to tell you straight up. You know my schedule and you know the time that I had work today. And you know that for a given fact that if I stayed, I would have not been able to work out. I would have been right here fighting with y'all like I was Manny Pacquiao. And I'm not. <laughs> I'm Irene. So it's like, at this point, don't even try to gaslight me when your bitch has no you would have left too. Like, don't even do that. So me and her get into an argument and I told her straight up, I said, look, I feel like personally, you've been disrespecting my car too much for my liking. She told myself, how the hell have I been disrespecting your car? How the hell have I? You have. The fuck, like, what you want me to do? You want me to go into great detail? You have been disrespecting my car. So she's talking about how my dishes. I said, it's been several times that I told you that if you are at that boy's house, don't tell me to come and pick you up because I don't have time to be dealing with that boy talking about she ain't going, she ain't going, she ain't going. Then I got to wait outside. Now you're making me late to work. Like it's just, it was just disrespectful. Like you're disrespecting my car and you're also disrespecting my time. I don't care whether you think you're not or whether you think you are. She claims that she wasn't disrespecting her my time or my car. So me and her get into a big argument about it. And basically, I told her, I said, well, look, how about like just to clear the air, I just won't come get you no more when we go to the gym. How about you just go to the gym and you meet me there? You've been Ubering to work. You've been you've been driving to work with your with your brother's car. How about when you go to the gym, you Uber to the gym or you drive to the gym? I'm not going to come and pick you up no more. I said, because I don't want to deal with that boy every morning. I don't want to deal with him. I'm not in a relationship with that boy. You are. I'm not going to be dealing with him yelling, she ain't coming, she ain't coming. You, I am coming. This is not what I like, okay? Like, I feel like I'm watching an episode of Welfare 2.0. So sorry. This is ghetto hood love. This is Krishan and Blueface. The thing, the, the funny part about it is, y'all be so shocked by Krishan and Blueface. Krishan and Blueface don't shock me because I got to see Zebra and her nigga in full action. And basically, it was given very much Krishan and Blueface. Like, I don't have the time. Y'all literally will sit here. Y'all will fight with each other. Then the next day, y'all cool with each other again. You hit, he hit you in your head the one day. The next... This boy sent this girl to the hospital, y'all. Like, I'm not even trying to be funny. This boy sent this girl to the hospital. This boy's not going to hit me because I'm defending you. Because I'm the type of friend where I just... I felt bad for her. But at the same time... Bitch, I like the way I look. You're not going to come and hit me in my head because cause I'm defending you. You on your own. <laughs> so at this point in time, she basically tells me, I don't give a fuck about your rides no more. I don't want to ride in your car. Y'all hear that, right? That's what she told me in the argument. Mind you, we arguing on the phone. She said, I don't give a fuck about your car rides. I don't care about riding in your car. She said, I will go to the gym with the Uber or, the, or, the, or my brother. She basically told me that she does not need my car rides to get to the gym. I told her, I said, Zebra, <laughs> I, had to, <laughs> I had to call her like that. <laughs> I said, Zebra, keep that same energy. I tell you to keep that same energy, I hope you're ready to match it. Oh, I hope you're ready to match it. Because I'm the type of person where, <sighs> please don't make me match energy with you. Because I'm going to win. I'm going to win. I told Zebra, I said, oh, you don't need my car. Mind you, this is someone that I was taking everywhere, y'all. This is someone I never asked for gas money. I was taking this girl everywhere. I said, oh, you don't need my car. She said, no. I said, okay, keep that same energy. She said, I will. Ooh! Now she solidified it. Bad. If you don't need the car to take you places, uh, to, take, to take you to the gym, cool. 
we cool. And I told her straight up, I said, so what you telling me is you never going to need a ride to the gym again? She said, no. So, okay, cool. And this is where we're going to end the story time, y'all, because the next story time, this is where everything just went left. And I would sit here and tell you guys, but we're going to be here all night because the next story time has so much details of what happened between me and Zebra. And it was just bad. Let's get this video to at least 2,500 likes. And then I will tell you guys the next story time. Just go ahead and thumbs up the video right now before you click off. Thank you so much, Puri Vortex, for sponsoring today's video. I really do appreciate it. I will leave everything down below in the description box. And I'm not sure if this video is going to get posted on Halloween or not. But if it does, happy Halloween. Bye.